Is this? Yeah. Okay. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Guess who's back? Uh, I've been away for work. I'm still away, I guess you could say. Um, but unfortunately, the goddamn coronavirus has gotten the best of everybody, and I seem to be stuck in my room with nowhere to go, so I've had a lot of requests to uh, <clears throat> make another episode of Cooking with Zeus, and it just so happens that it's my buddy's birthday tomorrow, today, actually. So, happy birthday, Rob. Uh, so, I'm going to do something that I said I was going to do like a year ago. And I'm going to make some uh, no-bake Oreo cheesecake. Um, so, I'll post this up here. Hold on a second. There's probably going to be minimal cutting and editing in this one. <coughs> because I'm not, I've decided to try to not... Hold the uh, the phone while I'm doing stuff. So <clears throat> I kind of got a head start and uh, <clears throat> separated some double stuffed Oreos and kind of ground up the uh, the cookie part already. Uh, so I just separated them with a knife and. Stuck them in the fridge. Uh, the next step is going to be... Shit, I really can't do this without holding the phone. Okay, so next you're going to take your ground up cookies that are like... Uh, the consistency of like potting soil. And you're going to take some melted butter, like 60 grams. And just kind of stir it in until it looks like wet sand yeah like sloppy concrete mix oh next we're supposed to take this 70 gram bar of chocolate which is a uh hershey's bar and we're gonna chop it up really fine and just ideally supposed to put it in a uh glass bowl and then just let it kind of hang out in like a boiling pot of water I don't have a glass bowl and I don't have a stove, um, but I do have this Red Bull can that I cut the top off of and this pot that boils water. So, in that's gonna go. So, we've got our chocolate all chopped up nice and tiny, and then we're gonna give this guy a boil. And while this is melting in there, we're gonna microwave the. Uh, frosting from all those cookies for like 15 seconds and we're gonna mix it in with our cream cheese. See you in a second. And this is very hot. My hand is in a lot of pain right now. But just scrape it all in. Woo! That is hot. And then start mixing it up. Oh, by the way, the cream cheese should be at room temperature. And then you're just going to kind of mix it up until it's nice and goopy. And now that this is boiling... Fucker! Drop this in. Cream. This already tastes awesome, by the way, and you're just gonna make it look nice and like wet and fluffy. Let's check in on this. Ow, that's really hot. Okay, so you can't see that very well, but trust me, it's melting. Safety first. Alright, so 
We're supposed to take a little bit of this that we mixed up, put it in a separate container so we can mix it with our chocolate that we just melted. Now, fuck it, motherfucker. I put a little bit of butter in here to make it just a little more liquid because the chocolate I chose has chunks of stuff in it. So I put butter in here to make it a little smoother. So the point of this is we're gonna mix melted chocolate with some of this to make it like mixable with the rest because if we put it in there right away it's just gonna clump up you guys thought I didn't know how to make sweet stuff did you I just don't like sweet stuff but that's it for me and it's easy and I can do it in basically a motel room Once this is nice and mixed up and it's all goopy, go ahead, throw it into the rest. And now we'll be able to mix it completely into our cheesecake filling. This is starting to, oh damn, it smells really good. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to have a piece of this. So. We've got this, right? This is nice and hard. You can hear it. So we're gonna start dumping this filling onto the uh, crust here. Wow. So you got your bottom, you got your top. Smooth it out, make it nice and pretty. And you just eat this shit right off the spoon. Last step, you take your super fine Oreo cookie topping that you ground up with your mortar and your pestle. And then you just sort of... I'll probably fuck this up. Dust it over the top. Like that. If you need to, you can take like a spoon and kind of scrape it to the edges. This is sticky, so it'll grab onto it and the loose stuff will spread around. In the fridge for six hours. So it's been over six hours. This has been chilling in the fridge. Uh, we already broke it out and ate it and, and stuff like that. Um, I saved a piece so that we can get a, cross, a shot at a cross section and it wouldn't be a cooking with Zeus episode unless I ate a piece. So let's get a shot real quick of the cheesecake. I hope that you can see this pretty well. It's pretty thick. It's got a really thick crust on it. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that crunch that, but this turned out a lot better than I expected it to. God damn. Damn. That is good. Okay. Cooking with Zeus, episode seven. Um, we're back. I'll see what I can do next. Peace. I like turtles. <laughs>